bothers you anymore. Hello everyone, this is Immortal Gamer and welcome to MK Mobile. And yeah, 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 I know, I know, many of you are saying that what you are talking about Battle 196 in this video and what is this? Battle 198? What is going on Immortal Gamer? Cool down guys, please. And uh, I think that there might be few who will uh, um, uh, drop some hits in the comments. So before you do that, let's me, let me explain you everything. Guys, actually I defeated the whole Battle 196 without death mark and it took me up to 15 minutes to kill them actually i never thought that i would win that battle so i couldn't record the whole battle so that is why i'm extremely for sorry for that thing first i could record the last section of that battle so i will show you that in this video and then we'll fight the battle 190 and 199 in the same video Actually guys, I went with the M11 team and you know how weak my M11 team is. I mean, M11 Liu Kang just Fusion 2, M11 Sub-Zero Fusion 3 and M11 Scorpion is just Fusion 0. So I never thought that I would win the, that battle with that team. So I didn't record that battle. But when, I mean, if, especially without Deathmark. But when I went very close, I said, oh my god, I need to show you guys. So please see this clip, enjoy and... and Please don't give me hate in the comments. I can't resist that. Okay guys, so I'm sorry. I'm extremely sorry that I didn't record that battle. But that was completely um, very hard to believe that I beat that with that team. So please see that clip and then we will fight these battles out there. And we'll reach the battle 200. Yes! See this guys. I have been fighting for last 5 to 6 minutes against this man. My Sub-Zero died very long ago. And my Liu Kang is just dominating this man. Yes! Look at this guys. Killed him without death mark. So that was super super annoying and took me lots of time to beat him without death mark. Lots of I mean patience and focus out there needed. And let me show you the setup that I used for this battle, the equipments out there that I used on them. And MK11 team, this team is super great guys, unbelievable. They beat the battle 196, I mean I know MK11 Scorpion melted the whole team, but it was super super, I mean hard to beat Dark Fate Terminator with these characters. And the Sub-Zero, who was the strongest one, died very early in the battle when the Terminator was in the endoskeletal form. So that was super good guys. MK11 Liu Kang is unbelievable. Believable, unmatchable, unstoppable. He's super good. So let me beat the battles 198, 199 here, and uh, then we will reach the destination battle 200. And you know, guys, what do I want from there? The only epic I don't have from this tower, which is um Adenian bracelet. So I don't know whether I'll be lucky enough. And you know, guys, you know well, I I am never lucky. I'm never lucky. So, yep, I'm 100% sure that I'm not gonna get that Edenian bracelet from there. And I also want MK11 Liu Kang from there, which is I'm not gonna get. Absolutely. So, anything I want, I never get. So, that was once in a blue moon where I got, I mean, exactly what I wanted from this tower. MK11 Liu Kang and Champions Nunchaku in my first run. That was super, super lucky. I still enjoy that moment in my flashbacks. Oh, so fortunate! I hate his combo ender, especially as an opponent. He cripples you, slows you down. He's a goddamn godly character. He's a great one. But my Johnny boy is destroying him. Is it dampening? My power generation is too slow. Of course it is. No! Full Jin! I need to tag out out there. Oh no, he's blocking. He is blocking! So after that, the only one battle will remain and then I'll be there. I'll be there! I actually don't know guys which challenger setup I'm using for this battle. No! You die, my boy. You die. And the best thing here is guys, if the opponent is using secret scrolls and champions leather bracers which makes them ill, just go with combat cup Sonya, tag them out and whenever they will tag in again they will not be healing from any single thing you can also do this on classic liu king because he can heal from his sp1 he can heal from dots so just tag him out with the help of classic sonia and he'll not be healing from any single thing 
not from his sp1 not from the dots any single thing he'll not be healing so you can do this not against the bosses because the bosses are immune to her passive but against any normal battle if you're stuck there you can use this against any character especially the classic Liu Kang who is very annoying because of his healings so guys i need reptile here because it's a regeneration barrel barrel 199 so let's put some gears on my reptile boy giving him some fire and uh, it in a force rejection field for some health boost for some damage boost muramasa blades and uh, okay so i'm giving him now uh, champions nunchaku which will give me more percentage of damage than muramasa blades so i have got um reptile in place of johnny cage because soon i will tag out one and he'll not be healing at any cost so one will be done with the help of Sonya and rest will be done with the help of poison of reptile you know he has 80 percent chance to apply poison on the opponent who has just tagged in so the passive of classic reptile is super crazy never miss him from reptile event or anywhere else look at this she is not re regenerating because of the poison so if you are a beginner looking for some help against the regeneration battles never ever miss reptile especially the classic reptile because he is super super helpful i mean any character who applies poison can be helpful in this battle but why classic reptile only because he applies poison on tagging you don't need to do sp1 anything just let the opponents tag in and they will get poison and will never ever heal and one more thing that whenever if even if the reptile is dead the, the, his passive will work opponents will get poisoned on tagging so this is super super helpful guys and he is very good even at fusion zero that's why and guys as soon as i defeat this battle i will end the video and battle 200 in the next one so and guys if you're looking for some help from any battle of shader out normal or fatal tower i have made videos on each and every battle of fatal and normal shader out tower Battle 195 for normal Shadow Tower, Battle 190, 184, 196, 200, I reach in every boss battle of both towers. So any hard battle you are searching for, you can explore my playlist named Immortal Gamer. Sorry, Shadow Tower, okay? Immortal Gamer has some tips videos, tips and tricks videos. So you can explore all the playlists from my channel. I have given the link to my top 2 playlist. I will give you in the end of the video. So I will do this battle in the next video guys and take take a look at the equipments that I used for those two battles out there and guys here you can see the links of those videos on the screen right now and in the um, left one the left one will direct you to all the pack openings that I have done ever at and the right one will I mean directed towards all the barrels of normal and fatal shadow tower which can be very very helpful until then thank you so much for watching this video till the end see you all in the next one guys bye bye